everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am doing an express haul for you. Express is having a really big sale right now and so I thought I would do like a sale haul slash unboxing slash first impression slash try on. I hope you like it. I hope I do too. But I'll have all these pieces linked down below in the description box if you wanna shop them. You'll probably get a better deal for them than I did which is fine, there's no hard feelings. Those links are affiliate links, so I do make a small commission off of them. It is your choice whether or not you use them, but if you do, thank you so much for supporting my channel. But first, if you're new, welcome. I'm Jules, I do videos every week on fashion style and shopping. I do hours of online shopping and research so that you don't have to. So please make sure to subscribe and click the bell to join our family. So these are the packages. I'm gonna start with this one because I think there's only one thing in this one and most of everything's in this one. So let's just get it out of the way. Aha. This is the thing I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna forget that I bought that because of the color. Wow, it's a lot different of a color than I remember buying. And I'm looking in the viewfinder. The way it's looking in the viewfinder is the color it looks like online. However, in person, uh, in person, it's much more purple. Oh, sweet, okay. So I didn't know this had it and I'm really glad it did. Well, one, it has adjustable straps. When you're doing spaghetti straps, I feel like adjustable straps. It should be the law. But it does have a nice closure on the bust, which is awesome. I guess we're just gonna change our top. Oh, what do you think I was gonna show you this part? No. Well, I guess I can talk to you while I figure this out. Um, as you can see, you probably don't wanna wear a bra with this. I should probably change that, but I'm a little uh, wrapped up in my tie. Does it tie in the back or the front? Uh, we're twisted. <sighs> I think we got it. Okay, so. First impressions, it's a very bright color. And did I tan today? No. Okay, so this top is currently 50% off. It looks a lot different on me than it does on the model. It just looks so much longer on her. I am so sorry that that just happened. I have a bad battery and I thought the good one was in, but it turns out it was the bad one and it doesn't warn me before it dies. And so I lose all the footage that I was filming. And when you're doing a first impressions, kind of hard to recreate. But I'm just gonna say again what I was saying earlier. I'm sorry, it's not my first impression. But essentially, I forgot that I bought this. <laughs> and what was funny about it is because last night I ordered a piece that's very, very similar in the same color. So I really like this one because it does have that fall vibe, but it also is a kind of like a t-shirt. Like if you look at it, like this is, this is kind of a t-shirt, but it's very different. It's kind of like between a blouse and a t-shirt. It's definitely casual, like a t-shirt, wear it as a blouse. Like it's very versatile. So you don't really know how you're supposed to use it, but you can use it for a lot of different things. The other thing to note about this shirt, there's actually a couple things. One is these sleeves. At first I wasn't sure if they're supposed to look like that, but I think they are looking at the stitching. So I would stay true to your normal size. And for the record, I am normally a size small in Express. Sometimes I do need to size down. The other thing I really liked about it is this satin silky texture and sheen. I think this is really on trend right now. And with the fall coming, I think it's just gonna be really cute to layer, but it's also fine on its own. It does have this texture that is almost like ribbed in the satin. So it's kind of like when you pull it down, the ribbing, which is at an angle, twists so like the entire shirt twists when you pull it down and it's not like the most comfortable feeling thing ever but if you don't pull on it you don't have that problem the other thing that my camera missed me having a first impression reaction is this bracelet. It's a cuff very similar to the ones by Victoria Emerson. The only difference is this one is not magnetic. You have to thread that through. It's a little difficult because the tag is still on it. And then twist the lock. It's very easy to do with one hand. For the record, I have like the tiniest wrist for like comparison. My wedding ring size is a size four. Everything is always loose unless I can adjust it like this one. So I'm fine with that if that's not something you're super fine with and you have teeny tiny wrists like I do, but I like that it, it can just sort of, you know, like move. Now we have caught up. I'm sorry those weren't my first impressions or reactions. Hopefully now that we have a good battery, the good battery, not the bad battery. The next thing I see, it looks like a dress. Okay, this packaging is like the crinkliest thing in the world, so I'm just gonna do it. So the first thing I always look at when I buy pale pink, despite how I love pale pink things, 
pale pink can be a real hit or miss when it comes to my skin tone just because it can wash me out. I think we should be okay. Really wrinkly, so I'm sorry that you're gonna see it all wrinkled up. The one thing about pale pink dresses is that they sometimes look like bridesmaids dresses. So, like, jury's still out. I might have ordered the wrong color. All right, right away I'm starting to get nervous that the waistband is not elastic enough to fit over my shoulders. And that's the only way we're getting in and out of this thing, so uh, we'll see. Okay, update on the waist, it's elastic enough very much elastic enough. You have to untie the tie <laughs> before you try to put it on. All right, we got to take out these bra straps again. The waistband seems to fit fine. It is a little bit long on me, just but just a touch like I can get away with it. <sighs> it's a little bridesmaidy. Honestly, it's a good dress. It's cute. Is it quite my style and what I'm looking for? No. And that's the thing, like I have such a weird standard when it comes to clothes, but I am looking for really stellar options. I'm trying to curate this just closet that I'm just so happy with every single piece and every single piece brings me joy. And that's the kind of mentality like I wanna spread on my channel. Like I don't do hauls just for the sake of doing like a huge haul. And like, I just wanna say there's nothing wrong with the dress. Like it, to me, it looks a little bright and easy, but I think this one will be going back. I just don't see myself wearing it and I'm not going to waste resources of mine or waste resources that Express is used and I'd rather someone who does love it which maybe you do love it that's fine that's great there's just some things I would do a little bit differently and I'd rather spend that money towards a dress that I'm absolutely in love with um, than this one for the record there's nothing wrong with this dress it looks very nice on me everything looks really good I just it's not quite my style all right next we have some Earrings. I feel like the stones came out a little darker. This is how nitpicky I get. I'm sorry, I get really nitpicky when I'm unboxing things. These are just these really pretty geometric circle earrings and they have these little stones hanging off of them. They are not heavy at all. They're super lightweight, which I really like. They're a lot longer than I thought they would be. It actually looks really cute with this dress too. Oh, I like that a lot. I don't really know what else I need to say about these earrings. They're just really cute. I really like the geometry and the very simple clean lines, but then the stone is just a little bit like sort of softens a really clean blunt look. All right, this is the other piece I do remember. So I know I've mentioned this a few times, but I've never like explicitly like talked about it a lot on my channel because I've only had one gold chain necklace. And so I've got another one. These are so on trend this year. I, I don't know how else to say it. It is like the necklace you wear when you want to look really on trend. Like you can wear any outfit you want. You put this on and it's like, She's trendy. She's on trend. Level accomplished. So I'm really excited to have now a second one just to kind of switch it up. That way I'm not always using the same one. So there it is. That is the perfect length. That is exactly the look I was going for. Love it. Okay, so these links are flatter than I remember them being in the picture, but I really like that. There's one side that's kind of flat and one side that's kind of normal. And it's just like, ugh, I love it. It's interesting, but like still subtle, understated and classy. But yes, this is exactly what I was looking for. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I really, really like that. Let me see if it's on sale for you. Okay, so for the sale, sorry, that was me dropping my phone. It is 40% off, so it is just, such a good deal right now. Yeah, I don't think I'm taking this necklace off for like a whole week. So that's it for my Express Unboxing First Impressions Try On Haul. That is a long title, we gotta work on that. I hope this video helps with your shopping during the sale. There's gonna be a lot more sales. I know there have been sales like every single week since quarantine started, but I am starting to think and plan for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So let me know your thoughts on that and anything else down in the comments below. I really do love hearing from you. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in one of these two videos. Bye.